Spokane is on display today as tens of thousands of people from across the world descend on the Lilac City. People here are picking up t-shirts and celebrating another Bloomsday in the books. Thank you. Have a great run today. And with that, a 41-year tradition got underway. A sea of people racing through the streets of Spokane. The elites quickly ran away from the pack. Further back, yeah! exhilarated runners <laughs> raced their way along Bloomsday's nearly seven and a half mile course. From the young to the old. I don't know, I just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. The new. Oh, we love it. He, he can't wait to come back, so. And the seasoned. Fun fact, we've actually ran Bloomsday every year of our lives. Our parents push us in a stroller. Alec and Connor's dad is from Spokane, coming back every year, now a family tradition. It's just awesome to see how the city all comes together on a day like today, where we can all come and just be together as one, as a city. It just shows the great community here in Spokane. While every Bloomy pushes themselves. I wasn't going to let this stop me, for one thing, and I've been doing it. 24, 25 years, I can't remember. 59-year-old Isabel Marquez might be the most determined. It just was right there. And I could not believe that it was aggressive stage four uterine cancer. She says despite the diagnosis in October, she was going to run today. When you finished that race today, how did you feel? I feel great. I felt really great. Tuesday is her last chemo treatment, and Isabel promises she'll be back next year. If you missed out this year, Bloomsday 2018 is on May 6th, so you have 365 days to train. In Spokane, I'm Brittany Paris, KXY4 News.